What's the deal? This is your boy, Mr. Athletic Over Everything, and also representative of athleticovereverything.com and AOE Custom Apparel. But this video has nothing to do with any of those things I just said. Uh, yesterday, we lost one of the greatest sportsmen to ever live. Um, and I'll get into what Kobe meant to me probably in another video. But yesterday, something happened in another one of my businesses that I participate in, which is sport collectibles um, and specifically basketball cards. Um, after the terrible news of Kobe Bryant's untimely death, along with his daughter and nine people total in the uh, crash, his collectibles went through the roof. Now, the only reason why I took part in what happened yesterday is because I already had many of his collectibles already up on my uh, eBay account. And what happened is, is that I was typically already trying to get out of some of the sport car collectibles that I do currently have. Um, I'm someone that probably has close to a million dollars worth of cards, if not more. And I'm not talking about uh, your 5,000 box of cards with each car worth a dollar type thing. I'm so, no, I collect, for the most part now, graded cards. So you're talking about a lot of high-end cards or cards that were worth something to me based on how I felt about the athlete. I've always collected from the heart, um, collected people that I liked, people I admired. Um, that way, no matter if I bought a car today or tomorrow, it'll still have the same value in which it did when I purchased it. <clears throat> but um, three days ago or three days ago, I actually put the card into the mailbox. Um, I put in the mailbox an Upper Deck uh, 1996 uh, UD3 Kobe Bryant grade 10. Uh, card in the mail I sold it for uh, 70 bucks now the reason why I sold it for $70 is because I have all these cards and I was actually becoming fearful that you know some of the cards that I put a lot of money into may someday be worth nothing because the next generation of collectors Athletes, fans don't care the same way it did when I got into the um, the, the the hobby. Um, the hobby has become very um, unkittish. It's very businesslike. The people who are able to afford these cards aren't children; they're grown ass men. And the sport is just, it's kind of just changed, and I kind of didn't want to be a part of it, you know, and. I still had memories of purchasing those packs of cars in 1996 as a college freshman uh, and pulling my Kobe Bryant's from the pack. And all of those cars, I never sold. I have, they will never be sold. Those are the cars that rooted me in the sport. Those are the cars that rooted me with the athlete. And those are the ones that mean something to me. So in terms of passing down cards, those are the ones that stuck to me. But what happened yesterday was absolute craziness. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to affect the overall landscape of car collecting going forward. But I did participate in what happened yesterday. Um, but I did it because I have a business on that side of it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't um, like I was trying to take advantage. Technically, I had wind up I wound up selling a few cards based on the prices I already had up. Um, I didn't change the prices. I honored every card that was um, purchased, even for the prices that were lower. And then come find out three, four hours later, those same cards were selling for three, four hundred dollars yesterday. Like I'm talking about craziness. Now, I, I typically don't do this kind of stuff, but this right here is all the sales that went through yesterday. 
These are all Kobe Bryant rookie cards. Every last one of them. Uh, actually, one of them is a Tim Duncan grade 10 showcase row one. That was sold for about $170. But uh, what I saw yesterday was crazy. And I think a bunch of hype beasts are going to be punished on the back end of this. Um, the people who were purchasing cars yesterday were not collectors. They weren't hobbyists. They weren't enthusiasts. They weren't sportsmen. These were people trying to grab a Hornus Wagner, so to speak. Um, and to be honest with you, I have a bunch of the cards here. And I'm going to go through some of the cars that I, that I actually had and what they sold for. And also some explanations behind some of these. Um, I hope this video doesn't get too long, but it probably will. Um, and I don't know how people will feel about the video overall. But if you knew the story about how I feel about Kobe, we graduated the same year in high school. The same year he went to the NBA was the same year I went off to college to play baseball. Um, and being a basketball player in high school, you know, team MVP, dunk champion, all that kind of stuff. Kobe meant a lot to uh, kids that weren't six foot nine. You know what I'm saying? So I'll get into that in another video, depending on how this one goes. But I want to go through a couple of cars just to give you guys an idea of how ridiculous yesterday got. And I don't see the people who purchased cars yesterday being happy with their decisions later based on how much the market jumped. Now, this car right here is, let's see if it pops up. Let's see. This is a Kobe Bryant Finest 8.5 Becky graded card. This card yesterday, before yesterday, I paid $40 for it um, seven years ago or six years ago. I could not get that same $40 back for that card before yesterday. Uh, I saw them going for $22, $23, Yesterday, those cars were selling for close to $200. $200. I believe I sold this one for about $150, $160. Now, it gets crazier. Now, these cards, let's see. This is the Kobe Bryant um, fl uh, Flair uh showcase cards now this is a grade eight card now i 100 percent know that i probably spent about seven to eight dollars for that card yesterday i sold that card for 125 dollars now this one was probably one of the ones that uh let's see it. let's see it. All right, this is a Kobe Bryant Ballman's Best uh, SGC card. It's a 96. Let's see if we can get this straight. It's a 96. I sold that card for $175 yesterday. I paid $7 for it. Kobe Bryant, Upper Deck. Uh... Ricky card, grade nine, was selling for about $12 before yesterday. Sold this card for $150. Not to get confused with the first purchase, I had two of them. Let's see if it, so we have two 8.5 Kobe Bryant's. Both of these sold for roughly $150, $160, I can't remember. Um, but I'm going through some of these cards just to show you how ridiculous things got yesterday. Let's see if this one. So this one right here is a Kobe Bryant forged, uh, freshly forged 9.9. .9. I paid $17 for this card. I sold this card for $200 yesterday. Uh, Kobe Bryant SP. Another ten dollar card sold for well over a hundred dollars yesterday. Now this one right here is the is similar to the one that I had. I had a, a Kobe Bryant Upper Deck UD three uh, rookie card 
that I sold for sixty dollars three days before his uh, untimely death. Uh, this is a eight point five. It sold for one hundred and fifty dollars yesterday. Another, another Kobe Bryant SP sold for over a hundred dollars yesterday. Another one sold it for one hundred and fifty dollars yesterday. Grade nine sold for over a hundred dollars yesterday. Kobe Bryant Fleer so I think I sold this for 50 some of them I didn't get uh, a lot of money on just because of the circumstances of some of the cards but this one right here stole the cake and this is what made me uh, Kobe Bryant hoops grade 7 this sold for $100 yesterday Kobe Bryant, uh, I can't remember. I'm not looking at it. But this car sold for $40. It sold before he died. I still haven't shipped it. I'm going to honor it. SGC, SCG. I've never even heard of this, uh, this peop these people. But I remember when I purchased it, I paid $7 for it. I sold this car for $150 yesterday. Beam, uh, what's this one? Uh, Z Force. This one sold for one hundred fifty dollars yesterday. These two, I actually sold these for seventy dollars a piece, but I could have sold them for over two hundred dollars. This was early on in the process of me going through the cars and not realizing what was happening. This one right here sold for over $150. Another one that sold for over $150. Now, I still have, I think I have five, I got like five or six rookies left. Now, I have a bunch more actually. But I said this to say that with none of these cars being worth on average some of these cars i was actually putting together a set like and kobe's my was my favorite player outside of michael jordan but i was actually putting together a set of cars to sell to someone uh it was going to be like 20 some cars all of them were going to be grade under nine like going down it was going to be about 20 cards it was going i was going to sell them for 200 dollars for, so you talk about an average of ten dollars a card. Uh, yesterday I made almost three thousand um, dollars selling these cards. And what I think is is that it's not that I feel I I feel funny about selling the cards, but it wasn't I was selling the cards because that he passed. I was selling the cards. I was actually selling the cards beforehand, getting rid of everything. But with so many people who aren't collectors and who aren't uh, into the hobby hype beasting they're going to get burned because the market has to come down there's no way that these cards um can hold value when they were selling for 10 and 12 dollars you know what i'm saying a lot of the cars were selling for between 10 and 12 dollars and even at best some of the ones that sold for over 100 were selling for 40 dollars um i hope this is going to be more of a wake-up call for the people who participated on the other side of this um, they jumped in trying to take advantage of a situation in hopes of getting the next Hornets Wagner. And um, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, it's possible. You know, I, may, I made about $3,000 off the cards here, and they may be worth $20,000 down the line, which I don't expect because there are so many of these cars out there. But it was just something that was bad, man. And I, don't, I just don't know how history is going to look back on this um if you think about it today the market has already come back a lot 
So some of the cars that sold for outrageous numbers are already calming down, but it was that initial hit. And the reason why I had the cars on hand because they were already, I already shot the, shot the photos. I was already putting them up on eBay already. And I just hadn't had them um, exposed yet. And once I exposed them, they sold. So I say 30 some cars sold within two hours, maybe. And I had buy it nows and all that stuff and people paid full price for it. So I'm curious to see how I will feel about this decision to sell these particular cards in two to three years, or even shit in six months, because I think the market is going to come down a little bit. But if not, what I think this is, is that if I was someone who was collecting Allen Iverson, Michael Jordan, uh, Those are the two. Those are the two that I think that even a Shaq maybe, but Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson are the ones that I would not sell under any circumstances from here on out. If something happened to those two guys, it would be something very similar to this, like something crazy going on. And right now you can get the same cars that you have of Kobe. You can get of Iverson because they're in the same draft class, but the Iverson cars are going to be, a lot cheaper than even the Kobe's. So with that being said, it's like the people who aren't really into the culture, they're going to be the ones that get burned because the people who, who really love the culture already know, they know not to spend $150 on a car that was $7, you know, five hours ago, you know? So I hope these people learn their lesson. Um, and at the same time, it could be a possibility where I learn mine. But I'd rather be on the side of history where I got rid of everything and kept what meant something to me. You know, those cars that I got from Kobe that I opened the pack myself and pulled that Kobe and put it in a sleeve and put it in a case. I still have those. But uh, I just wanted to go through this situation to see what other people thought. And if you guys are collectors, you know, leave your comments in the um, comment section. But this is J. Mike, Mr. Athletic Over Everything. Later. RIP to the GOAT, Kobe.